Hey everybody, I'm Maxime Bonnier, Developer Advocate here at MongoDB Paris and today I want to show you how to create your very first free cluster in MongoDB Atlas which is MongoDB as a service in the cloud. So to start with you will need to create an account so you can follow uh, this link which is available in the description and we will create your very first account. So uh, you type something, uh, so your email address, uh, for me it's going to be something like that. Uh, with your first name, last name, and of course a password to secure your account. You agree to the terms of service and you are good to go. Okay, so now my account is created and I can start building my new cluster and follow the tutorial. So I will click build new cluster, I will say uh, I'm learning MongoDB. And first thing I can do here is choose my cloud provider. So for me it's going to be uh, AWS. It's going to be uh, AWS in Frankfurt for my case. Then I can choose my cluster tier. So for me, it's going to be uh, M0 Sandbox, free forever. But of course, if I want to go bigger, I can go bigger. And then I can choose my cluster name. So for me, it's going to be uh, free cluster, for example. And I can click Create Cluster. Uh, so now uh, my, my free cluster is being created with uh, three nodes, one primary and two secondaries. And while this is being done, I can continue to uh, continue on my tutorial and do the security setup. So now the thing I need to do is uh, create uh, my first database user. So I will click here and I click on database access and I will click on add a new user and I will use Maxime with a password and I will also pick my privileges so this user will have read and write to any database privileges only. Okay, It's not going to be an admin or a read only for example, it's going to be that. Uh, I will click add user and now I can I, I need to uh, whitelist my IP address. Uh, so this is very important because it means that only me from my IP address can access this cluster in the cloud. So I will click here and add my IP address and only this one will be able to connect to this cluster in the cloud. I will call that home. If I want to I could also allow from anywhere but if I do that it means that anybody on earth can basically have a network access to this cluster. Uh, so this is potentially a security flow because if my password and user leaks, for example, then I have a problem. Uh, I click confirm. And so now I'm ready uh, to connect to this cluster. So I will just wait for this cluster to be ready to use and I will come back to you in a minute. Okay, so my free cluster is ready now. And the first thing I will do is load some data set sample. So I just do that and that's it. I have uh, a few uh, databases and collections that will be loaded in MongoDB for me. So it's a great way to explore and discover new uh, data model, for example, in MongoDB. I can set my time zone if I want to like that and I'm ready to go. Uh, so now I can also connect to my cluster, of course. So for that, I can click connect and I can use different things. So for example, I can use MongoDB shell, I can use my own application, either in Java, Python, or Node.js, for example, or I can use MongoDB Compass, which is what I'm gonna go for right now. Uh, so I'm gonna click on MongoDB Compass, and I will be using uh, this um, URL here to connect to MongoDB. Uh, all good, I will start MongoDB Compass. And that's it. So first thing you will see here is uh, MongoDB Compass is asking me uh, if I want to use the connection string that is available in my uh, clipboard. So I'm going to say yes. Here I will type my password that I created before and I click connect. And that's it. I'm connected to my database. I can already see uh, the few databases that have been created already by my uh, data set uh, sample. Uh, a few others are coming soon, but it's not done yet. And if I want to, I can click here, I can go to comments, for example, and I can already see uh, my documents and all the stuff I'm looking for. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I'm done with my MongoDB cluster. I'm already operational in a few minutes. And now you can just uh, do whatever you want with MongoDB and create new and great stuff. Thank you very much for looking at my video and see you next time.